Are you struggling to keep on top of your accounting records? Well, you're not alone. At Clearways Accountants, we've developed a spreadsheet to make life as simple for you as possible. This tutorial will talk you through how to use our accounting spreadsheet. The spreadsheet's been set up to make this as easy as possible for you. And to my mind, you should be able to complete it in half an hour once a month if you're a one man business. So let's get started and talk you through the summary page. Again, we've set it up for Gardenia Grove Limited, and you can see there are a number of um, items listed and boxes. When you get the spreadsheet, don't change any of the formulas in here. There's a lot of information that will flow through once you start putting information in the back sheets. So this summary sheet shows you net income for the year to date. This will be the total of all your sales, excluding VAT. Then we've got two sheets that collect your expenses for your company. So the first one is your bank account expenses. This is everything you've put through your bank account and is an expense of the company. So we'll go on to the detail of that in a little moment. The next line is personal expenses. This is everything that you've paid for out of your own pocket. So it might be things like lunches or train tickets or parking, anything like that that you haven't actually put through your company bank account. This is where you would itemize everything, total it up, and then we'll talk through how you get it repaid. So the sum of all these items is the profit before corporation tax for the year to date. So as you update the information, the numbers will update and this number will change. And we'll see that when we put some data in later. Estimated tax charge is what it says on the tin. There's a little bit of slack in the system, so it doesn't tie in directly to the current corporation tax rate, but it gives us a number that we can then calculate profit after tax. Now this number is important because when you own your own company, you will take money out of the company as a low salary and dividends, and you need this profit after tax number in order to calculate how much you can take out of the company as dividends. Ignore this box, balance available to take as dividends from prior years. If you've been with us for more than a year or if your company is more than one year old, then Clearways Accountants will complete this box for you. The next box down is the dividends that you've taken in the year to date. And this will come from one of the other sheets as well. And the box at the bottom is the balance available to take as dividends now. So you can take this or not as you choose. So let's go on to look at the detail of the other sheets. This is the income sheet and you just type in the information as you issue invoices. So let's put an invoice in. We're going to make it a 5,000 invoice. VAT, £1,000, total amount invoice, £6,000, and that amount is outstanding at the moment. And if we flick back to the summary sheet, you can see that the net income for the year has adjusted to include that invoice. You would then carry on to add all the invoices you issue as the year goes on, and these totals will update as the year progresses. Then we turn to the bank account sheet. This will be set up to accept bank downloads from your bank. So the columns are different for each bank, but what you should be able to do is go into your online banking and either export or download the data into either an Excel or CSV file. So in good Blue Peter fashion, here's one we prepared earlier. This is the information for Gardenia Grove Limited. Again, we've kind of made this up. And um, this includes all sorts of bits and bobs. It's got mobile fees, it's got lunch, bank charges, it's got some income, train fares, all sorts of bits and bobs, and of course fees to me. So what you have to do is copy and paste this data. So copy, 
paste the data into the accounting spreadsheet. And then all you have to do is work down this column that says E or D. And basically, if it's an expense of the business, you mark it with an E. And if you've taken a dividend, you mark it with a D. Some items will be outside of either of those categories. The obvious one being income. Um, the others will be things like VAT payments or corporation tax payments or loans. So let's just quickly go down the column and mark some of these um, items up. And then if we go to the bottom, there's a dividend. So let's mark that one up. So if you were going through this at the end of the month, you would go all the way through marking each item, but you don't need to see me do that. So we'll stop there and go back to the summary sheet. And as you can see, it's been updated. There's bank account expenses now at 85 pounds. So that's the total of all these items we've marked with an E. It's also calculated an estimated tax charge and it's included the dividend. Now, as things stand, we've taken too much as a dividend because the, the total at the bottom is minus 8,000 and you can't do that. So let's pretend we've got another invoice, which is a much bigger invoice. There we go. The income is now updated to include 30,000, excluding VAT. So now when we look at these numbers, income is 30,000, expenses are 85 pounds, we've got an estimated tax charge, the profit after tax is just over 23,000. And then we can take dividends of 12,000. And in fact, at this point in time, you could take another dividend of 11,000. So let's go on to the last sheet, which is personal expenses. So this is for all the small items or, or not so small that you've purchased out of your own pocket. If you're an employee with a big employer, this would be your expense reclaim form. So let's add a few items on and see how that changes the numbers. So we've added three items and this is the kind of thing you might put in. You might also put in mileage here if you do that on company business at 45p for the first 10,000 miles. And let's say we've, we've got 45 pounds of mileage. So total amount that the company owes you is 81 pounds and 10p. If you see, this should come through onto the summary page. So although the company hasn't paid you, it does owe the money and that's included in the summary calculation. And this just changes the balance available to take as a dividend to now £11,270.35. When you make a repayment of these expenses, so the company owes you money and it can repay, to use the spreadsheet, all you have to do is put the date the repayment is made. So let's say we make it on the 1st of June, because you're doing this at the end of the month. Just put in repayment and put in minus 81 pounds and 10. And you can see that zeros. Next time you do a bank download, there will be an item appears on here don't type it in, but when you do the download, it would be here at £81.10. And you will mark that with an E. And then that will be reflected in these bank account expenses here. And so in summary, you don't need to do anything on this front page. You manually add the information into the invoices sheet. You do a bank export or download and then copy paste the information into the bank account sheet and then work your way down adding E's or D's depending on whether anything is an expense or a dividend. You put in your personal expenses and that's it. It's all calculated through. 
The other side of this spreadsheet includes a rough personal tax calculator. Because you now have to pay tax on dividends received once you take more than £5,000, this is a rough calculation of how much tax you would be paying based on employment income of just over £8,000 and dividends of £12,000. And this is as at March 2017, so it's using the 2016-17 tax rates and allowances. I hope this tutorial has helped explain how to use our accounting spreadsheet. If you think this approach would suit you and make your accounting tasks simpler, then please contact Clearways Accountants. I'm Liz Chapman. Thank you for watching this tutorial.